I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on solving word problems. Now here is a common question which has been asked by many students and you can see this type of question in many competitive exams and also for entrance exams to universities. We'll actually figure out how to find time for taps to fill the tank. So we are working with four examples the base here is that we need to find time to fill the tank with more than one tap. We'll take up cases when both work together, that means there are two taps involved, both of them work together, when both work together for different times, and we'll also involve cases where one tap could be used for draining. So, so the examples here will be kind of like this. So we have a tank here, in which we could have two tabs to fill the tank and we could have a tab to drain also a very practical situation right so and these tabs will have different rates different rates to fill different rates to drain right so that is what we are going to consider in our examples to follow I will show you a shortcut method to solve any question based on this concept. Let's begin with the very first question which is tabs A can okay so tab A can fill a tank in 4 hours and tab B can fill it in 6 hours. So let's assume this is tab A, this is tab B and tab A can fill the whole tank in 4 hours and tab B can do the same thing in six hours. In how many hours can both the tabs fill the tank? So if I switch on both these tabs together, how much time does it take? This is what the question is. And this is a very common question as you must have seen it so many times by now. But now we will learn a method of finding solution uh, very fast right so so that you could solve many multiple choice questions based on this so the thing which is missing here is what is the capacity of the so we don't know what is the capacity of the tank this is never known to us in these questions so what we can do here is that we can assume a number So the best number to assume is lowest common multiple. You will soon understand why lowest common multiple is the best number to assume. Now we are given that this whole tank is filled by A in 4 hours, by B in 6 hours. The lowest common multiple, the LCM for 4 and 6 is 12. Well, you could use 24 or any other higher multiple also, but this is the best value. That's what I'm trying to say. You could use 24 also. So we say let. So let this be the capacity in lesser liters. Okay, so, so we have assumed the capacity of this tank to be 12 liters. Now, as soon as you assume this, problem becomes a bit simpler. We can now find the rate for each right so rate is time taken to fill the tank so that means in how many hours can i fill this 12 liter tank it is given four hours then what is the rate that means we are trying to figure out liters per hour right so 12 liters so we want to find rate that is liters per hour that is the capacity for each so if I divide 12 by 4, then I get rate for the first one, which is 3 liters per hour. And if I divide 12 by 6, I get the rate for B, which is 2 liters per hour. It makes sense. B is slower. It takes longer time. Is that okay? But now from here, we get the total capacity. Do you see what is the total rate? When we combine these two, what do we get here? 
3 plus 2, if both are switched on, 3 plus 2 is 5. So we get 5 liters per hour as the rate at which both can fill. Do you understand this part? So writing the rate makes this problem much simpler. We now know that both can have a rate together as 5 liters per hour. Now since we know that we have taken this capacity to be 12 to find this rate, then how much time will both take to fill up the tank? So there are 12 liters in it. So we have to divide 12 by 5 to get the answer. Do you get the idea? So we kind of work like this. Do you see how we moved? So we moved from here to this place and then down and then coming back to our solution. So if you divide 12 by 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 20, we get 2.4 hours. The answer is in hours and minutes. So 0 0.4 hours should be multiplied by 60, right? Because we have 60 minutes in an hour, correct? So that gives you 24 minutes. So we have 2 hours and 24 minutes and therefore the solution is B. Do you get the whole strategy? Extremely important to understand, correct? So we just assumed a number. You could assume 24 and do the same calculation. You'll get the same result, right? These numbers will be exactly the same since it is just the rate, right? So that is how you should be doing it. Now I'll take up question number, uh, more questions based on this concept where we'll have different timings for the two taps working and we'll also include the third tap in our last example and then see how we can do it quickly. So now when you know the strategy, things are very easy. Just find the LCM, which is 12, divide 12 by 4, get the rate for the first one, 12 by 6 to get the rate for the second one, combined rate is 5 liters per hour, divide 12 by 5 to get 2.4 hours, convert hours to minutes to get your answer. So these are the steps involved, simple, neat, and straightforward, right? Now with this, you could actually do any work done example, painting the house, repairing or whatever. Now let's move on and take a few more questions based on this concept. Now here is the second question for you. You can pause the video, answer this question and let me take a break. So I'll just go for a walk along the river Humber. So I hope you enjoyed the cold water of uh, Humber River and also that animal swimming so fondly in that river. Can you name that animal? It's a very interesting animal found in North America. Okay, let's continue with our question. Question number two. Taps A and B can together fill a tank in six hours. Find the time in which tap B can fill this tank if A takes 10 hours to fill the tank. Well, in this particular question, we are given that A and B together can fill in 6 hours. We are also given that A alone can fill it in 10 hours. And what do we need to find? Time for B to fill that whole tank. So with our strategy, let's move forward. So the strategy is to write a number which is a common multiple of these two. Well, the number which is multiple of these two uh, could be 30, right? So we could take 30 as our number. So 30 is the LCM. So we are saying let the capacity be 30 liters. Is that okay? So we are just assuming that. You could choose any number you want. But this helps you to find the rate, correct? Now. Let's find the rate. For both of them together, if I divide 30 by 6, right, so what do I get? 
I get 5 liters per hour and for A if I divide 30 by 10 I get 3 liters per hour now this is the combined thing right A plus B is 5 A alone is 3 then obviously for B it should be 5 minus 3 which is 2 liters per hour do you see how easy it becomes to find the rate if you work like this and since it is 2 liters per hour we'll again get back from here to this direction correct and what do we get here 30 divided by 2 gives us the answer which is 15 and so option B is the right option do you see how simple it becomes you do not have to write any equation to solve such questions do you understand that is how we could do it well the equation which some of you could have written is something like this six hours for both of them to work together so so it is kind of six times the rate for a which is 10 plus six times rate of b which we don't know and the whole thing becomes one you can solve for b using this equation also so that's an alternate method but this is kind of neat right so we'll concentrate on this shortcut method which really helps you to find quick solution to such problems question number three taps a can fill a tank in four hours Tap A can fill a tank in 4 hours and tap B can fill it in 6 hours. So A and B we are given 4 hours and B we are given 6 hours. First the tap A is switched on and then after an hour. So, so 1 hour only tap A right. So, so this is not on. Okay switched on. Find the time during which tap B is on. So, so A plus B is then switched on for some time but not a is alone working for one hour now how do we solve this type of question so again what we should do is we should find the lcm right so four and six lcm is 12 for you correct so let me write down here the lcm as 12. now this lcm helps us to find the rate right so the rate is how much for each 12 divided by 4 gives you the rate of 3 for A liters per hour and 12 divided by 6 gives you 2 liters per hour for B. So the combined is 5 liters per hour, right? Combined is 5 liters per hour. Now look here. If 12 is the total capacity, right, then A works for 1 hour. So in 1 hour, 4 in one hour, three liters can be filled by A. So we'll take away three from here. So, so we are left with nine, right? So nine liters to fill. And for the combined, for A plus B, the rate is five liters per hour. Do you see that? A alone can fill three liters. So taking away three from 12, which is our assumed capacity, we are left with nine liters. Combine their rate is 3 plus 2 which is 5 so it should take 9 divided by 5 which is 1.40 divided by 5 is 8 hours so 0.8 times 60 right we have to do so 48 minutes so we get 1 hour 48 minutes as our answer do you get the idea so then you have to convert to minutes since the answers are in hours and minutes is that concept clear this is a tricky question but this particular method which i have taught you helps to find very easy solution perfect now here we have the third tap involved i think a tap can be filled by taps a b and drained by c a can fill in four hours so again we have taken a as four hours b three hours and C can drain it in two hours so minus two hours it is draining it away do you see that so first step find the LCM LCM of 4 3 and 2 is 12 once you find the LCM what do you need to find the rate see how fast we can do it 
rate for a is 3 rate for b is 4 rate for this is minus 6 so the net rate combined a plus b plus c is 7 minus 6 is 1 and therefore all together that is to say all together we have to fill a tank with a capacity of 12 so 12 divided by 1 is 12 so answer is c do you see that part so that is how once you learn this technique you can very easily solve any work done question or any job oriented let's say mowing a lawn for example can be solved with this technique so again just to tell you this number is convenience we normally take lcm but i could have taken a bigger number also it has to be a multiple to avoid fractions that is the whole idea so once you get the rate it becomes very simple so move like this do you see that flow and then get your answer so if you do this method any multiple choice question based on this concept of work done can be solved in less than a minute perfect i hope you really enjoyed it like the approach feel free to share it with your friends and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be even better thanks for watching and all the best